we are taking back on people based on tasks. So we're getting the factory ready for this sugar harvest, which we want to start again early. And therefore, um, just over 100 persons uh, were at Portville factory this morning to receive their new engagement letters and to be brief on the uh, process going forward and to start the work on the factory so that we can factory, have the factory up and running. Obviously, you're going to need the administrative staff as well, so some administrative staff are also there. And here at Buckley is the same thing. These are people who will be working in the shops and some who will be working out in the fields. And a similar thing took place here as well, where people got their new engagement letters and they have been properly briefed on the way forward. And uh, the workers are very happy um, from what I have seen from interacting. And what we have to do now is keep the pressure on so that this can go forward successfully. Uh, I know there are a lot of people who would wish for this to fail uh, because typically we don't look after ourselves. You know, we feel that other people can do these things better than we can. And so typically rather than embrace the fact that 1,100 workers will get shares in an entity, that they didn't have to purchase those shares, but that this responsible government is putting in the investment for those shares. And that 25% shareholding is being kept by the government so that other Barbadians can purchase those shares once they feel comfortable enough. Sometimes people are so skeptical that, you know, they'd rather see it happen first. And then the co-op has taken up 55% of that shareholding. But never in our history has a government really take a state-owned enterprise, get private investment to come in, invest in shares for the workers. Workers will get their severance pay as well. In addition to getting back a job, they have received vacation money and payment in lieu of notice. These workers have had the best of both worlds. And uh, yes, I, is it a perfect transition? No. It was not perfect. I wish that everything had happened perfectly. But you know, perfection is the obstacle to progress. And if I had gone for perfection, we'd be still fighting at this all now. What I do have now is a new entity that is taking over the sugar industry. Um, the employees are not disadvantaged. They got back their jobs. They got their just worth. They get shares. And what we have now is to make sure that this sugar industry now can take us to renewable energy to the extent that we have scale and to the extent that the profits are guaranteed for the new owners.